Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a Q&A. These are just kind of general questions I get asked quite a lot and I've collected over the past few months that I've been waiting to answer. Okay, so the first question I'm just gonna answer now is where have you been because I took a break, um, basically just life happened, certain stuff happened um, where it just meant I didn't have any time or to film and I got really unmotivated from filming because of it. Um, but gradually I started filming videos but I just couldn't bring myself to edit them. Um, but then all of a sudden I just got really motivated and it all came back and we, that's what I love about YouTube is that motivation and like, I don't know, I just really love filming videos. It was the editing that I struggle to do but once I get into it, I love it. So basically just, yeah, stuff happened and I felt I couldn't film um, and that I shouldn't film and then over time I just felt more and more comfortable filming. Um, the next question I have is what are your upcoming goals? Um, I don't really know whether this is like big goals or like little. I want to pass my driving test um, and I want to be an okay driver. Um, that's one of my goals. <laughs> um, what else? Um, I don't really have a lot of other goals right now but that's my biggest and another goal is just to be happy be my best self whatever i can do to achieve that i will try um i don't really have any goals right now but like yeah sorry that was a really rubbish answer evie but yeah i want to pass my driving test i want to get hopefully a distinction on my final project again but who knows but that's a whole year away so i don't really know that's currently the goal kind of speaking of driving next question is how are your driving lessons going um i have had two driving lessons when I'm filming this video, probably had more when I'm uploading it, but they are okay, <laughs> let's say I'm not a natural driver, no they're not too bad, like, um, still stall a couple times, I'm not very good at stopping, so that's great, but like, it's been alright, I mean I'm not going super fast and I'm not going super crazy places, but for like, a first couple lessons I'm doing okay, I've done a couple junctions, I'm just not very confident, I'm still like really scared. I feel like once I get over that and I've done it more and I'm not scared, I'll be better because I won't be shaking. My hands are literally like as I'm driving and I take it away, I'm like oh my god that was so scary. So yeah, they're good but scary. <laughs> this was actually filmed like two weeks ago, uh, maybe even three. So I'll just say my driving lessons are going a lot better, I can stop now. I'm not good with the clutch, that's my, my only issue. Um, yeah, I'm, done, I'm doing alright, I haven't gone on like a proper big huge road yet, but I've gone up to like 60 miles per hour and I've done a bit of reversing, so I would say they're going alright for 12 hours? I maybe I've done 12? I think I've done 14 hours. Sorry if the angle is slightly different, I just had to charge my camera up a little bit. Hopefully it's got enough to finish this video, but who knows um the next question is do you know what you're going to do after college so i get a lot of questions like this and like are you going to uni or that kind of thing so at the moment my plan is to take a year off well not fully so instead of going to uni have a gap year um but get like a full-time job save up money um save up money and figure out what I want to do, whether that means going to different places, trying to figure stuff out, um, speaking to different people, like, you know, I don't know what I want to do, so it's a struggle. Um, I know that I like dance, I know that I do like photography, but I can't do dance as like a living, as in being a dancer, and I don't think I could be a full-time photographer because I think it would drive me insane. But I'm think like I feel like photography is something that you can do as like a extra. Um, so that is my plan. I'm gonna take a year off, figure out what I want to do. I can always take another year off if need be. 
Um, it won't be a full year off because I will be doing work um, and I'll be doing YouTube at the same time still, hopefully. Um, I'm not planning on stopping that anytime soon. So that is the plan for now. So it's not, I'm not fully clear on what I want to do, but that is my current plan. And I don't feel anxious about that. Like that feels good to me taking a year off to figure out what I want to do. So that is the current plan. Next question is, what is your current go-to hairstyle? So this is actually my current go-to hairstyle, a middle parting, half up, half down. And I just did this yesterday and today. It's kind of not straight, it's more wavy. And I actually prefer it than just like straight down, half up, half down. Um, my hair is blonder than it used to be. But I really like it and I love this half up half down look. I think it's very chilled and I really like that kind of vibe. Um, so this is probably my go-to hairstyle. But if ever I know my hair's not looking good, I just put it in a ponytail or plaits. If it's greasy, it's in plaits. If it's just not cooperating, a ponytail. But this is my current favourite hairstyle and it is one I've been doing a lot recently. So I would say this, literally middle parting, half up, half down, bits out at the front. That's my hairstyle. Um, the next question is, would you ever stop YouTube? I have answered this before in a couple videos, but it's been a while since I've done one of these, so I thought I would mention it again. Um, I mean, there will probably be a time where I do stop YouTube. Sorry, Sam, you come to join. But at the moment, it's not in my sight to stop YouTube. Like, I don't want to stop it at the moment. I have no reason to. It might be that I do need to take little breaks, like I have done, but I feel like that is just important. Like, sometimes you just need to. Like, putting yourself online and sh showing yourself all the time is draining. <laughs> it doesn't sound draining, but it is, like, mentally. So, but I do love it, so I wouldn't want to stop it anytime soon. So, currently, no. But I mean, there is probably going to be a time when I'm like 72 when I'm not filming myself every day. Every day, like a lot of days. So there probably will be a time. But for now, it ain't in my view. What is on your bucket list? So I actually had to think about this. I do have like a bucket list, but I've just kind of added to it from things that I know that I want. So currently, this is like, I've got other things on my bucket list I've ticked off. But this is stuff that I want to do. Um... So the first thing is have a family. That is like one of my biggest goals. Get married, have kids. That's a life goal. To travel. This is, isn't too specific, but there are some places I really want to go to. So I really want to go to Bali. Um, I really want to go to Greece, Italy and New York. I do want to go to a lot of America, but if I could choose anywhere to go to now, it would be New York. I like to do one of those large zip lines that like goes over lakes and it's like really far and you're like kind of lying down. Um, that is on my bucket list and I've seen a place you can do it and I really want to do it with my mum but who knows I would do it with my whole family but my dad and my sister hate heights so I doubt they would do it but I really want to do one of the zip lines I want to have a proper road trip not just like driving three hours somewhere I want to have a road trip where I'm going different places so even if that's like a UK road trip like just like a couple nights in one place or a night in one place have a look around that area and then drive down to somewhere else. I just think that would be really fun. I would like to see turtles like hatch and go into the sea. I just think that'd be amazing to see. The sunrise on the beach. I'd like to ride horses on the beach and I would like to go to a drive-in movie. So that is my current like biggest ones that I haven't ticked off yet that I would like to be able to tick off. How to deal with general life stress and worries. This is probably one of my most asked questions. Um, I think people think I'm a really chill person, and I am a really chill person, like, compared to a lot of people. Um, I try not to get stressed. There are obviously so many times where people do get stressed and worried, and there are so many reasons to. And I have had that many a time, sometimes worse than others, but I try and get through it by distracting my mind. Like, it's hard, especially if, it's, if something's serious. Um... Like, obviously, there's going to be a lot of stress and worry about that, and that is going to be on your mind a lot, and it's going to be harder to distract yourself. But try and meet up with your friends. I feel like friends are a really good way of distracting yourself and having a good time. Um, that's one way I try and de-stress. Although sometimes just seeing friends is just too much, so you just want a bath. So, yeah, a bath, again, very, very big de-stressor. I will have a bath. I will pop on. when I. This is when I'm sad and stressed. Have a bath. High School Musical 3. Ice cream 
chocolate, hot chocolate tea, a bath bomb, bubble bath, and just a relaxing time in the bath. That just helps me to completely de-stress my mind and forget about everything. So I'm sure everyone has one of those feel-good films that they love. High School Musical 3 is that one that I will just always put on and I know it will make me feel better. But like just in general is if you're just thinking of like general stuff like stress at school, that is obviously, I mean, some people would say that is very bad, like hard, and for some people it is. For me, I didn't get too stressed at school because I just made myself think, it's not the end of the world, it is just school, it's a tiny part of your life. Yes, a lot of jobs you do need grades and universities you need grades, but it doesn't define you as a person and that, I think, is what I reminded myself. Like, a lot of people really wanted to get the good grades and for me it wasn't about getting good grades, it was about... I don't know, I just... I didn't care too much, obviously I wanted to get good grades, but that isn't what I focused on, I focused on my mental health a lot at school, just trying to stay happy and have a clear mind, and I think that is what helped to keep me so stress free, because I wasn't worrying about trying to do better than someone else, trying to achieve grades to get somewhere, I was just trying to get through my exams to the best of my ability, but without doing so much revision and stressing so much that it affected my mental health and made me stressed and anxious. So that is another thing I would say, and I know some people really do want to do well, or some people's parents pressure them to do well. School pressured us to do well, but I just tried to ignore them because I couldn't deal with it. Like, if people were stressing, like, pushing me to do better in something I knew I wasn't going to get better at if I put more effort in. So if I knew I was bad at something, I would put enough effort in to help improve, but not so much that it, like, I just couldn't do it. I don't know if that makes any sense, but in my head it does. Try and stay relaxed. If you're getting too stressed, do something that makes you feel good and stops you from feeling stressed. So for me, that is having a bath and watching a film and going to dance, seeing my friends. So for some of you, it might be like some hobby that you have or walking your dogs, like it just depends. So if you are try feeling worried a lot, try walking your dogs, getting outside. Like it is proven to help getting outside, that kind of thing. What are your favorite TV shows right now? So my current favorite TV shows, I'm currently binge watching called The Midwife because, I mean, I watched a few random episodes with my mum, um, but it's seven seasons on Netflix and I have nothing else to watch, so I'm binge watching that at the moment. Um, Glee, I love Glee, that is something I watched recently. Oh, what's it called? Working Mums, love Working Mums, it's just funny. I mean, some scenes are a little bit like, I don't want to see that, but like it's a good series and I find it really funny so yeah they're my current favorite tv shows that I've been binge watching um I don't think there's anything else there probably is but who knows I watch a lot of Netflix and a lot of tv shows so who knows that is all of the questions for now I hope you enjoyed this video just like a chilled sit down one um let me know if you have any videos you'd like me to film because I I would love some ideas, please. Um, I do prefer like more vloggy videos. I love sitting down videos, but I find them harder to think of ideas to think of. Wait, I find it harder to think of like sitting down chatty video ideas. I'm better at just thinking of like, oh, I'm gonna vlog, so I'm gonna do this and that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and press the notification bell, and I will see you all soon. Bye. Oh, I can't breathe without your love